Hey everyone, so in this episode, we're going to move towards preparing our application to implement an admin panel for our shop. So first of all, <clears throat> let's clean up the namespaces in our index CSHTML file. As you can see, this is not an ideal uh, thing to have, all these namespaces. So let's go into our application layer and open create product. So create product, we only want to make it available to the admin. So it should never be exposed to regular users. Also, the product products that we get here with get product, we don't necessarily want to include ID here. We want to use the name for the routing to make it look pretty. So it will be slash product slash cool pants. And for the admin panel, we're going to use something differently, but we do want to include the ID there. So we want a second get products that we're going to use for the admins. That is also going to help us to separate the layers between the admin products and the products that the users see. So if we want to adjust something for the admins, we're not going to break anything for the user side of the application. So that's another benefit, benefit of single responsibility principle that we're using here. So if you look at our CSHTML first, let's look at this create product. Let's go into here and let's move our product view model into the class. Let's remove the application and leave create product. Okay, so there's a spelling mistake I just realized. So not product, product, but product. Cool. Okay, that makes a lot of sense why the namespaces don't work. Uh, but yeah, so now we remove the namespace um, dependency and we can do the same for our product view model here. So for get products, let's move the view model into the class and we can access it the same way. Okay. Now we can fix this namespace here, keep it to products as it is for the folder. Let's remove this namespace and let's add this namespace that we need. Okay. So for some reason I have get products in my database layer, so let's remove that. And this error should go away. Okay, cool. So, yeah. so now it points to the correct uh, product. Okay, now that that's out of the way, <clears throat> let's create our a new folder in our application layer and let's call it admin or rather products admin. So this folder will be responsible for maintaining products from the admin side. And let's move our create product into product admins. I'll just copy the folder name. I'll go into create product and uh, change the namespace to products admin. Now let's get products as well and put them in here. And let's change the namespace as well. There we go. So nothing breaks. And let's adjust it accordingly. Let's set the decimals. Just want it pretty much the same value. And we want the ID as well. Okay. And let's delete this comment. Another thing we want to have for our product admin is we want to be able to update a product and we want to be able to delete a product. So let's create th those functionalities. Let's create a, a couple of copies of create product. And let's rename this to update product. Rename everything. And let's remove this for now. We'll keep the await. 
let's take the next one and let's do delete product okay rename this accordingly remove this we do not need a product view model here this one is very simple we just want to get the id and we want to get the product from our context first or default using link you don't if you can't see first or default it's probably because you haven't you don't have using link statement so just type it out and then you can import it using control dot real quickly and let's just get the product by using the id that we're going to pass to this function and then all we want to do is context dot products dot remove and we want to remove this product Okay. Another thing we want to do is we want to get a specific product. Okay, so let's go into here and let's just remove these S's here. And we want to and we want to return a single product. So let's type in where. And we want to pass ID to our do. And let's do first or default. Okay, so we will work on what we actually need to return for the product later on. But <clears throat> let's close everything and let's fix this namespace. Not even fix this namespace, we, need, we just need to remove this product flat out from here. And let's remove this task. We don't need to post anything. Let's close this. So now as you can see, we have our application layer has sort of an API access towards our database layer. And each each one of these files is a single responsibility and takes care of one specific task. Creating a product, deleting product, getting a single product, getting multiple products, and updating a product. And because, as I mentioned at the start of the tutorial, we're going to be using Vue for our admin panel, I'm going to show you how to use Razor Pages in conjunction with, the contr with controllers. So. Let's go ahead and set up a controller. Let's call it admin controller dot cs. Okay, and let's inherit from controller. And now let's create a few methods that we will expose to our admin panel. Public action result get products. And we want to equate this to new, get products, and import it from products admin. All right. And then we want to do do. And make sure we wrap this in OK. OK, another thing we need for our class is our application DB context. So let's create a constructor. DB context, CTX, 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 and global. OK. Let's pass CTX here. All right. And here, what we want to have is specify that it's a get. And now we want to create one of these for each of our product admin services. Let's create one, two, three, four, five. Cool. 
So another get, we want to specify an ID in our route. This is where we're going to be getting our single product and ID and get product. And we want to pass ID to the do function. For our post, HTTP, HTTP post, we want to say create product and we want to accept a create product product view model VM and we want to pass this VM to our do and pretty much the set. at this point it's pretty much just typing it out delete product Delete product. No. All right, we don't need a view model for our delete. So we pass in an ID and pass the ID to the do. Here we want to put and we want to say update. Update. Uh, not product, but rather product. Product view model, VM. I want to pass our VM here. <coughs> okay, so let's not forget the ID here. Okay, so because we're not only going to have products in here that we're going to manipulate, we're also going to manipulate orders and stock. So we want to specify the route to point towards our products or our orders. So let's create a route attribute and let's specify that the beginning is going to be starting with the name of the controller and the rest is going to be starting with their according words. So products we're going to be using a API convention for this. I'm sorry, not not just API, RESTful API conventions. So I'll leave a link in the description uh, for a guide or something like that that will give you more information on how RESTful APIs work. So at this point, our admin controller has the base functionality to control the products. Uh, this will be it for this episode. I uh, hope you enjoyed watching it. Subscribe, like if you enjoyed it. Leave the questions in the comment section. I'll try to answer them all. And as always, see you in the next episode.